Hi, I'm Dennis Gage, and welcome to My Classic Car. Well, this week we're back down in Ocala, Florida to look in on one of my favorite collections, the cars of Jim and Rick Schmidt. Now, these guys have a pretty extensive collection, but I think what I like about it is their main focus is low mileage, unrestored originals, and a lot of kind of different cars, ones you just don't see every day, ones that are underappreciated. The other great thing is they always let me pick what I want to play with. So I decided to go with a couple big GM personal luxury cars, the 67 Olds Delta 88 Custom Sport Coupe and a 76 Pontiac Grand Prix Model SJ. Now I'm willing to bet it's been a long time since you've seen one of these at a show, if you ever have, and I'm also willing to guarantee they're both worth a closer look. Check them out. This car has less than 1,500 miles. Yes, we might flip 1,500 by the time this car is over. Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> this is a big car, 29,000 original miles. This is so cool. Oldsmobile really knew how to build a car. Hey Rick, great seeing you again, man. Great seeing you too. Well, you know, big cars today. Big low mileage cars today. Big low mileage cars today. Cars that you don't see every day at a, at a car show too. We got some more unique stuff out. I'll say, well, you know, let's, let's start here. 67 Delta Custom, Delta 88 Custom Sport Coupe, right? Yes, and I, it's a I mouthful. It is, <laughs> and, it's, and it's a big car. And I don't remember when I've seen one or if I've seen one. This is a pretty rare car I these had, days. I had no memory of ever seeing one until my dad bought it back in the mid 90s. And, uh, and it's a very unique car. I've only seen one other since, and that was at the 100th anniversary of Oldsmobile. You could argue there was one of everything there. <laughs> well, you know, you look at the front end, This the beak, which is almost Pontiac. Yeah. And then what a, you know, what a detailed grill. Big, it, wide detail, lots of die cast and chrome, an awful lot of expense in the Oldsmobile grill at that uh, time. Um, and yeah, it's a and really it's also, unique look. It's right out there, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, I bet those got whacked a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, that's probably another reason. It's, it's amazing to find one in such beautiful shape. And then all the, the side trim, it's which I guess is uh, mm -hmm. brushed aluminum? Or, yes. And, and yeah. what, it's like one strip of, of this is not enough. It's actually double decker trim We've over got the wheel well. Double wheel lip moldings and, uh, and all the brushed aluminum, which is in perfect shape. The car's got about uh, 29,000 original miles on amazing. it. amazing. Uh, and then you get to the, the interior, and, and th that's another thing. is when you do see this interior anymore, these babies are just, they have just completely degenerated. Gone, yeah, yeah. So the uh, condition of the interior in this car is uh, is just phenomenal, and I don't know that you'd find another one like it well, anywhere. You'll, you'll see this sometimes in uh, in like a, a Monte Carlo use of yes. didn't it? Yes, and, and if they still got it, it is almost white usually this is, yeah it, and, and, and it just rots out just rots and, and uh, rips from the top on down and uh, this 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 every, every bit of this interior from the from the carpet to the headliner is 100 percent original and there's just not a flaw and the, anywhere. You know, the wood grain dash and the, mm -hmm. you know the, the big uh instrument pods and i love the you know like you look at the heater or the the antenna mm -hmm. I mean, all the lettering there is so fine so delicate all that silk screen lettering is still all in place and, and usually it's and, all rubbed off it's usually rubbed off by fingers and all those uh, uh panels have been scratched with fingernails uh, so, and a very uh, classic oldsmobile steering wheel there yeah i mean it's still they've still got that look that they had in the, the whole in the interior 50s. you know they really had a theme that they were carrying forward Man, this one really is a unique car now mm -hmm. what what did it have for an engine it's a 425, which was basically the same as a 455. It just preceded the 455. It was a, uh, a lesser stroke. I see. Well, let's go look at that, okay. baby. Mm. Big hood. Big, big hood. I'll say, man. <laughs> Oldsmobile Super Rocket. Super Rocket 425. Very well stored and, and, and well kept. I've got cars with 2,000 miles on them that look horrid under the hoods wow. compared to, to this well, and one. This, I mean, this is really almost a reference piece. You know, you want to know what they were like in 67? This is what they were like in 67. Anybody who's uh, is restoring a big 67 Oldsmobile is wel <laughs> welcome to come visit me, and I'll give them access to the car. They can spend as much time as they like. Yeah, that's why we keep our cars, and that's why we like the unrestored cars. It's not just the, the point of having them, but as benchmarks. Mm -hmm. And uh, and for the for the lines that we sell parts for, we have benchmark cars that are unrestored, so we've actually got something real you can go to, and find to out use. Well, you know, that's a mm -hmm. you know 425. That's a big engine, mm -hmm. but there is there is tons of room in there. Yes, I mean this baby is big it, engine a, compartment. It's big a big car. car. It is a big car. And does she 
drive like an Oldsmobile should? It drives like a dream. You know, when my dad brought this car home from Hershey, I didn't know what the heck it was until <laughs> I saw it. And it wasn't until I hopped in it and drove it down the road that I nodded my head and said, boy, this, this you know, car what car. a great car this is. You know, well, let's it, hop in it and drive it down the road. Let's do it. All right, man. Okay, well, let's uh, fire this baby up. Well, that is one quiet running car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's quiet, it's smooth. It's like driving a big Prius. <laughs> <laughs> I don't hear anything. <laughs> I mean, this is, this is a cruiser. This is cruiser. Oh, man. man. <laughs> it's soft, it's heavy, it's solid. Yeah. This is what I love about the big Buicks and Oldsmobiles and Cadillacs. They have a feeling of substance to them. Yeah. This is a car that the longer you look at it, the more you see, I think. Yeah. That's why when I saw it in your collection, it sort of stuck out to me. Yeah, you think like we think because because <laughs> things that you haven't seen before intrigue like, you. Oh, look at that! How about yeah. that? So many people just walk by things they haven't seen before, but they're rare in a different way, in a yeah. different category than you would consider a Shelby to be rare or a. Not because uh, there were so few made, but the, there were so right. few that survived. And the attrition rate for big American cars is horrendous. Yeah, they never got considered collectible. They were just. Uh, um, they were just cars. They were just cars, and not many of them made it through the 70s and 80s. Oh, this is absolutely effortless. Isn't it just a smooth? Oh, jeez. <laughs> there's, there's not a rattle or a clunk or anything in this car. The touch on this wheel is so light. It's yeah. Really, it handles nice. Yeah, cars get criticized today for overboosted steering, but back in the 60s, overboosted steering was considered a uh, oh, luxury. Like, yeah, asset. I mean, it's like yeah. one finger <laughs> and, yeah. and you can drive this car. Well, let's step it up a decade and go look at that Pontiac. Let's do it. All right, man. Man, that is one sweet Oldsmobile. That's just that like... Is so smooth. Like driving on a pillow, right? It is, and so quiet. Yes. And just, oh gosh. Well, okay, so let's let's step it up almost a decade, nine yes. years. This mm -hmm. is a 1976 Pontiac Grand Prix Model SJ. This thing's pretty radical. I mean, Pontiacs yeah. are always yeah. more aggressive in their styling. Pontiac was always about excitement and and, uh, and performance in the st and not just in the way they perform, but they they, uh, they Even the walk look. the walk and talk the talk Man, in the I'll styling. Say. And I mean, because this is this thing's pretty radical. I mean, yeah. of course, you know, Pontiac's uh, symbols the arrowhead, and you mm -hmm. see that everywhere in this design. The hood just one massive arrowhead, and comes to a, to a point in the front, and, and uh, the, the grill just has a, a, a real serious elegance to it. Now, this is again, we're talking a, a, a really low mileage, unrestored car. This one that has twenty nine thousand twenty nine thousand miles. Did. This one? We're down to uh, 1,497 miles on this car. <laughs> Just this, shy of 1,500. This car has less than 1,500 miles. Yes, yeah. yes. How does a car have less than 1,500 miles? It was miles? a graduation present, a college graduation present for a, a man's daughter. He bought it for his daughter. And yeah. she took one road trip in it, in it and came back and handed the keys to her dad yeah. and said, I, I guess she was a shorter girl and it was too big of a car for her. She didn't feel comfortable in it. She couldn't see out of it well. And it went she, into the garage? And into the garage it went, and That's there it stayed. stayed. Wow. I mean, you've had the T-tops here. Mm -hmm. these, these are so wild. I mean, this was such a, I mean, it's, it, it's such a wild yeah, design. Yeah, it's got the hearse hatches on it, which, uh, which leaked. <laughs> All of them linked, but uh, I, I don't know that this car's ever been out in the rain to test that. But the white interior, which is just... It's I mean, a dynamite it's, combination, oh, the black and the white. It's like a tuxedo. And, you know, like, like you say, I mean, Pontiac excitement, that dash mm -hmm. is an exciting dash. It's a really neat interior.
Golly. And, you know, the, the, the half vinyl top. And, you know, these two doors, a lot of times you can get a little claustrophobic in the back because you, mm -hmm. you couldn't really see out. It's got these beautiful, I mean, that's, you wouldn't even call it an opera window because it's so darn big. Yeah. But the, in the back window, which is mm -hmm. you know, almost a greenhouse. Yeah, it, the car has great style and proportion. The, I, the Grand Prix, was, I think, was one of the best looking cars of the 70s, you know. It doesn't matter which year you you pick; they're well, all look they're all great looking. It's it's very flashy, and like you say, I mean, you had this in '76. You were styling. Yes, man. you were. You were styling. Absolutely. <laughs> but here again, you know, the angles come all the way back. Mm -hmm. You know, and you know this this actually, you, you know, you, a few years from this, the the boat tail riv kind of. You've got a symmetry here because you've kind of got the same arrow, the same taper in the back that goes on with the hood, and uh, you know, eventually coming to the point on the bumper. And these were these were the Hearst hatches. Hearst hatches. I've even got the original Hearst box. That's a very rare item because they made the box, the storage bar, box for the hatches, out of cardboard. <laughs> <laughs> so you can imagine how long that lasted if you used it. So uh, we've got the original hatches in here, the hatch box in here. That's a that's... really rare piece. It's brand new. The oh, hatches man. have never been inside of it. Holy cow! And, uh, yeah, I mean, I'd, you use that two or three times, and it'd be over. Right, right. So. Uh, also, I mean, original spare. It, really? Original spare. It's it's a brand new car. It's the original tires on yeah. all around. In it's fact, original right? tires all around. Well, Unbelievable. You feel safe driving on original tires? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, well, I've never had one blow. We'll be fine. Oh, good. That's that's good to know. <laughs> so what? Now, by by this time. Uh, boy, engines were seriously detuned. What, what yes, they were. The, this has got the Pontiac 400 in it, which okay. is, which to me is the the you know prototypical Pontiac mill. Well, let's look at that that Pontiac let's mill. Let's do it. Open it up there, Rick. Oh, another big heavy yeah, hood. Man, even bigger, I think. <laughs> yeah, here again, unrestored. Unrestored. Not quite 1,500 miles. And so it's a, it's a brand new car. You'll see some patina and a little bit of, you know, a little bit of rash under here. And that's just from sitting in the garage. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, Oldsmobile has more miles on it, but I'd say that the, uh, that it uh, survived a little bit better as far as, as far as dry storage yeah. and, uh, and uh, lack but, of degradation. But you still see, I mean, there's factory markings. Still oh yeah. We still have all the, everything. all the nice fresh hardware factory markings. Uh, the, the block is all original paint. Nothing's been touched under here. All we've done is change oil and flu you know, change fluids and, and uh, dusted her off. Man, what a find, what a find. And, and she, she runs like a 1500 mile, uh, uh, 1500 mile runs car. like and drives like a brand new car. I mean, most, de most dealer demos would have more than 1,500 uh, yeah. miles left. Yeah, 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 because usually the, you know, the sales manager was driving <laughs> it home on the weekends, too. So, uh, so uh, it hasn't even been broken in yet. Well, let's, let's see what we can do to help that yeah. process along. Yeah, let's help exercise it out. <laughs> Maybe that just sounds a little bit more aggressive than yours. We'll see. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah, but they tune the pipes. to the olds this has got a very sporty looking dash yes now lots of gauges wood grain wrap around well that was just pontiac period through the 60s and yeah. 70s it's all about the driving experience yeah. great looking interior if you can keep it clean white just looks great as an interior yeah. it adds so much light to the inside of the car it does and then the, you know the t-tops you gotta love that this is so cool what a view <laughs> Now this has got a very different kind of a squishy steering wheel. I mean, it's mm -hmm. a polymer. It's not the hard plastic, but the whole material of this, the, the you know the the arms in it and everything are kind mm -hmm. of this like somewhat, a urethane. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's kind of nice. But I tell you, this is another really smooth riding and very light handling car mm -hmm. for something. Uh, you know, of its size. Well, you know, it is radial tuned suspension. Radial tuned suspension. <laughs> so this is another, I mean, absolutely original everything. Yes, very low mile car. I'm looking at 
1,400, almost 1,500 miles. I guess we're, we might flip 1,500 by the time this Seriously? drive is over. Seriously? Yeah. Really? <laughs> Haven't had to do anything except for just keep it clean and keep it running and functioning. It's amazing. It's nice that we have it out and exercising it because it's good for it. And it'll be running better after we're done than it did when we started. This is a showroom car. So until our next meeting, remember, honor the timeless classics. I'm Dennis Gage. Happy motoring. <laughs>